So this this is my first recording using uh, uh, Grass Flow, the uh, Grass Flow asset, um, and I, I like the look of it. But the problem was it just uh, the grass grows everywhere, um, and basically that's. <coughs> of course, I didn't want that. Nobody would want that. Um, you can use if you look over here. You can use uh, paint mode to hand paint, you know, stuff, uh, which I also didn't want to get in. I don't want to hand paint grass on my whole terrain. So uh, the next video I'm going to show is uh, where I altered the shader to uh, base it on the height uh, because my terrain colors are based on height. So I figured, well, if the <coughs> terrain is green, that's where I wanted the grass, so I tried that. Uh, I'll do an update real quick here uh, as soon as I show that. Now here's the <coughs> same terrain. That's uh, it's got the the height check in enabled, and you can see, you know, it definitely looks better. But uh, the problem is, is the hard the hard edge that you see that the grass stops at. Um, that would take quite a bit to fix. Uh, you would need randomization so it, it patches it and the grass gets smaller near the edge where there'd be bare patches along with little little uh, stubs of grass and very patchy uh, to make it look natural. Um, it's a shame because I, I don't want to I don't want to have to do it. I have I've spent way too much time on grass already. Uh, this this is probably the best looking grass that I've I've seen or tried. I, I did love it, uh, but I just can't spend no more time trying to tweak it for what I need here. Um, and you can see the reason why. Uh, in scene view, I have the shaded wireframe enabled, and you can see where it stops. You know, at the triangles. Uh, that's a shame. I just, I really like this grass. It was, it's really easy to use. Um, it would have been easy to implement into my, uh, mesh generator, but I'll probably go in a different direction. Thanks for watching.